in the set there are 15 girls and some boys among the graduating students in a class now we know that they are planning a get together which uh, could either be a one day event a two day event or a three day event we know that there are some singers some girls some boys some dancers some girls some boys some people who don't sing nor neither sing nor dance we also know that there are some people or there could be some people who would not be interested in attending the event at all so there are a lot of variables that are present this is sort of a difficult set to understand but then again this is something that can be done with a bit of persistence so if you keep your calm and think about maybe two scenarios that are possible in this particular context you should be able to solve this set this was definitely uh, the, the toughest set in the slot uh, and uh, it required a lot of thinking in depth and a lot of representation uh, or representative skills right so that is what we are going to look at and let's have a look at how to solve this particular set so this is the information that we have in front of us in a condensed manner now let's try to figure out how exactly to represent this information so there are two things that are happening here one we know the number of boys who sing number of boys who dance number of girls who sing number of girls who dance total number of girls those bits we know that is one part and the second part is trying to figure out how many people were interested in turning up for day one day two day three and were not interested at all so this is basically what we have to plot there are two different things that are going on here and so we will have two different tables in terms of this particular set so let's see what these two tables look like so they will look something like this we can simply divide it as boys girls day one day two day three and uh, dna is uh, either did not attend or do not want to attend and in terms of uh, the number of singers dancers neither and total that is what we are looking at so let's see what has been given to us we know that there are 15 girls that we have here so total number of girls is 15 for sure we know that there are six singers in the class so six is the total number of singers that we have four of them are boys so two singers have to be girls there are 10 dancers in the class so 10 will be here and four of them are girls meaning uh, four of them are girls meaning six of them are boys so we have four male singers two female singers six male dancers and four female dancers that's what we have here uh, we also know that the total number of girls is 15 so if there are two girls who sing four girls who dance there has to be nine girls who neither sing nor dance because we have also been told that no singer also dances so it's either only singing only dancing or neither there won't be an overlap between singing and dancing that is a very important point that we have here so this is what it looks like now we know that all the girls so this part we have taken care of no dancer is a singer that we know all the girls in 80 percent of the boys now 80 percent of the boys is what we have here uh, and again we are going to have a 60 percent 70 percent kind of a thing so what we can do in this context is let's say the total number of boys is 10x and the number of girls we know is 50 so that is one thing that we have established at this point in time uh, we know that the total number of boys is in the form of 10x we are just assumed it's 10x that we have here and the number of girls is 50 so the total number of people will be 10x plus 15 uh, the number of boys who neither sing nor dance will be 10x minus 10 and so on but we are not concerned about it at this point in time so let's look at what happens here so all the girls and 80 percent of the boys are interested in attending the one day event right so if a one day event has to happen then these people will be interested all the girls meaning 15 girls will be interested if it all it would have been a or it uh, it uh, were a one day event and 80 percent of the boys so 8x boys will be interested if it is supposed to be a one day event similarly we know that 60 percent of the boys are interested in attending a two day event so 6x boys will be interested in attending a two day event some of the other girls are interested in attending uh, some of the girls are interested in attending a one day event but not a two day event and some of the other girls are interested in attending both so that is what we know 70 percent of the boys who are interested in attending a two day event are neither singers nor dancers are neither singers nor dancers so 70 percent of 6x will be 4.2x and these people are neither singers nor dancers i'll just write it uh, just for the sake of it we know that because of this 1.8x people are either singers 
or dancers. So out of the 6x boys that are interested in attending a two day event, 1.8x people are singers or dancers and this gives you a very important clue to start with and we will come to it a bit later but it is very important. Is 1.8x will essentially crack this set and you are going to get one answer for sure if you crack this particular bit, right? So the total number of boys is something that you will be able to crack very easily if you look at 1.8x. Anyway, so this is what we have in this particular context. Uh, we also know that 60% of the girls who are interested in attending a two-day event uh, are neither singer, uh, are neither singers nor dancers. So 60% of the people, right, who are interested in a two-day event are neither singers nor dancers. Now, if it is 60% of something, the number of girls gets restricted, right? So, we can either have 5 girls or 10 girls in total who are interested in attending a two-day event because we know that um, some of the girls are interested in attending a one-day event but not a two-day event. So, there exists a certain number of people who are interested in attending a one-day event but are not uh, interested in attending a two-day event. So, we know for sure that there this could either be 5 or 10 because we need 60% of something, right? If there are 8 girls, how can you get 60% of 8? Then it will be 4.8 girls which we will not be able to figure out, right? So, if either 5 girls are there in which case 3 girls would not be interested or would not be singers or dancers and in case of 10 girls interested being interested in day 2 or 2 day event, 6 among them would be neither singers nor dancers and this is a very important bit of information that we have, right? So, 60% of the girls who are interested are neither singers nor dancers. No girl is interested in attending a 3 day event. So, this becomes 0 and because all the girls are interested in attending at least a 1 day event, we can say that there exists no girl who does not want to attend this particular event. So, that part is clear. So, girls more or less we have the structure ready. In case of boys, all male singers and two of the dancers. So, all male singers. How many male singers are there? Four. So, four male singers and two of the dancers are interested in attending a three-day event. Now, is this the entire set of people who are interested in attending a three-day event? No. But we know for sure that the number of people attending this three-day event has to be greater than 4s plus 2d. Similarly, how many people are not interested? How many boys are not interested in attending the event? 8x people are interested in attending at least day 1. So, 2x have to be the number has to be the number of people who are not interested or number of boys who are not interested in attending this event. That is what we know. We also know one interesting thing that the number of singers attending a day a two day event is one more than the number of dancers attending a two day event. And this is basically a bit of information that will help you crack the test. So, all those of you who were not able to crack this test in the actual test would have not been able to interpret this bit of information and, and this is this is something that is uh, that is something that is key to cracking this particular set that we have here right so this is what we are looking at in this particular context now let's see what happens because of this information that we have here we know for sure that on day 3 there were four singers and two dancers that were present we also know that whoever wants to attend a 3 day event would also want to attend a 2 day event and whoever wants to attend a two day event will also want to attend a one day event. So, when I say that there are four singers and two dancers who are interested in attending a two day, a three day event rather from the boys side, these people are the ones who would also be interested in attending a two day event. In simpler words, if someone wants to go for a three day trip, that person would also want to go for a two day trip. Right, going to the trip is very important. Right, that is basically what it means in this context. Might not be true in all cases, but in this context, it has been explicitly mentioned uh, in in the set. So these four singers and two dancers would have also been interested in turning up for a two-day event. Right. So we already know that there are four singers who are interested. There are two dancers who are interested in this particular context. That is what we know for sure. What else can we say about this? Right. We know that 1.8x, so the total number of boys being 10x, 1.8x people were interested in a day to event and they were either good at singing or dancing, right? Now, what is the most obvious thing that can come to your mind? Now, 1.8x has to be an integer. So, x has to be a multiple of 5. Now, if x is 5, then 
the total number of people who are interested or who can sing and dance and are interested in a two day event boys becomes 9 right what if x becomes 10 so x can be 5 wherein the number of boys who can sing and dance and are interested in attending a two day event becomes 9 what if x is 10 there are 18 boys who would be singers or dancers and would be interested in attending a two day event but what is the number of boys who can sing or dance right four boys are singers six boys are dancers the number of boys cannot go beyond 10 who can sing and dance so there is only one way that you can get uh, an answer to this particular row you know that x has to be equal to 5 and that is basically one of the answers to the questions in this set that is the beauty of the set so x could have been equal to 5 in which case 9 would be the number of boys who would be good at singing or dancing and would have loved to attend the event on uh, for or a two day event, right so that is basically what we have here so we know for sure that nine people would be good at one of the two things from the boys side we already know that there are four singers and two dancers who are interested the number of singers that we have here is four for sure it cannot go beyond four because there are only four boy singers who exist so how do we get a nine we will have four singers from the boys side and we will have five dancers from the boys side and this is basically something that will help you crack the set so four singers and five dancers is the entirety of the uh, the the, uh, the the kind of team that we have from the singing and dancing side when it comes to boys for day 2 now look at the last line the number of singers interested in attending a two day event is one more than the number of dancers interested in attending a two day event the number of singers that we have here is 4 that we have here for sure right it has to be one more than the number of dancers who is attended in attending a two day event we already have five dancers here from the boys side so the number of singers has to be at least six because we have five dancers from the boys side obviously if there are more dancers from the girls side then the number of singers will have to increase again right so because i have five dancers here i need to have at least six singers and how do i get six singers four singers from the boys side two singers from the girls side that is what we will need to have and again look at this small bit of information that we had drawn earlier right so two singers if they are there from the girls side six five it becomes properly balanced everybody is happy we are sorted right what happens if we have more people from the girls side so girls side had only two options either there were five girls who were interested in a two day event out of which three girls were not good at either singing or dancing which means two people would have been good at singing or dancing the other case is 10 girls were interested in attending a two day event out of which six people were not good at either so there would have been four girls who would have been good at singing or dancing we know for sure that there are two singers who are present here right so two singers have to be present here from the girl side so that we get that six five combination at the very least now what happens to the remaining two people is what will help you crack the set in terms of girls if you look at it the number of singers is two so the number of singers is capped at six the number of singers can't go beyond six so this six five case that we have here has to remain a six five case because as soon as you increase the number of dancers you will also have to increase the number of singers by one right and that is something that cannot happen because we have already hit the threshold in terms of the number of singers and that was a beautiful piece of information that would have helped you crack this set. now we have everything that we need we cannot have 10 here because we have to have only two singers so the number of girls who would be attending in inter would be interested in attending a two day event would be five three of them not good at anything two of them good at singing so two singers is what we have right similarly in terms of boys we have nine people who are good at something out of which four are singers five are dancers x is five total number of boys is 50 number of boys interested in a day one event is eight into five forty day two event or two day event is six into five that is 30 21 people not good at anything nine people good at something next day at least six people everything is clear in front of us now so this is basically something that would have helped you crack this set during the test obviously i know it's a very very deep uh, line of thought that we have here very less very few things that you can write on your sheet of paper mostly it's a thinking set so now let's have a look at the consolidated information that we have 
this is this is exactly what i discussed till now so two singers five girls day two 15 all 15 of them so four dancers two singers had to be there 40 boys on day one 30 boys on day two four singers five dancers that is basically what we have here so now let's have a look at the uh, questions and let's try to figure out if we are able to get some answers to these questions so the first question how many boys are there in the class even if you were attentive for the first five minutes of the set you would have been able to answer this question easily the number of boys who are there in the class will be nothing but 50 so the correct answer here is 50. second question which of the following can be determined from the given information the number of boys who are interested in attending a one day event and are neither dancers nor singers or the number of female dancers who are interested in attending a one day event so let's have a look at this we have this table in front of us how many boys are interested in attending a one day event and are neither dancers nor singers now we have accounted for nine boys who have some talent from the second day and we know for sure that whoever is interested in attending a two day event will be interested in attending a one day event so i know for sure that there exist four singers and five dancers who will be interested in attending a one day event but the total number of boys that are interested in one of these two things is 10 and that is why we can say for sure or we cannot say for sure whether the last person the last boy who is good at dancing will that person be interested in attending a one day event or not we don't know that for sure uh, it is a possibility that someone might be good at dancing but might not want to attend the event as well right so we don't know for sure whether the number will remain at 9 or will it be 10 ergo we can't figure out whether the number of boys who are not good at something or uh, neither singer nor dancers will be uh, either again that 40 might include the last dancer or might not include so we don't really know what might happen in that particular context so the first statement is something that we cannot determine from the given information the second statement the number of female dancers who are interested in attending a one day event we know for sure that all the girls are interested in attending the one day event we know for sure that the number of female dancers is four so we can definitely say with certainty that the second point that we have here will be determined uniquely from the data that has been provided to us what fraction of the class are interested in attending a two day event so again if you look at what is going on here on day two we have 30 boys nine singers or dancers and 21 who are not good at either so 30 boys and five girls so 35 people are interested in attending a two day event and what is the total strength of the class 50 boys 15 girls you will get 65 as the base the answer has to be 7 by 13 which is the fraction of people who are interested in attending a two day event so the correct answer here is option 1 that is 7 by 13 what best can be concluded about the number of male dancers who are interested in attending a one day event now from the table that we have here we know for sure that the five dancers who are interested in attending the event on day two will also be interested in attending the event on day one but we don't know whether the sixth male dancer that we have will be interested in attending the first day of the event or day one of the event or, or a one day event or not might be interested might not be interested so depending on the context either we will have five male dancers who will be interested in attending a one day event or you might have six male dancers who might be interested in attending a one day event so the correct answer here is option one that is either five or six how many female dancers are interested in attending a two day event again if we refer to the table we can see that out of five people or five girls who attended or who were interested in attending a two day event there are exactly two people who have a talent and those two people have a talent for singing and that's why we can say with certainty that there will be no female dancer who would be interested in attending a two-day event so the correct answer here is option one that is zero